It's not just a liquid. And then that structural component binds together as a part of it sugar that's bound together. They call them polysaccharides. And those polysaccharides, when you consume them, your gut actually takes those, breaks them down into individual glucose molecules to then be absorbed into the bloodstream. That's when the insulin's released. That's when the insulin takes that glucose and stores it into tissues like the muscle and the liver uh, for future glucose needs. Uh, and so, yes, we would presume that with this, high or oranges or even most fruits, pastas, rices, would all elevate blood sugar levels. But then that accompanies with a high insulin load, right? So the more of the oranges, the more insulin that you would need. And, you know, despite many of these foods being considered very healthy, those with metabolic disease or metabolic dysfunction may not maybe have a be more vulnerable to even what would typically be considered healthy foods. Um, 